If you're looking to rotate a camera in Unity by dragging your mouse or your finger on a touchscreen, you should continue watching this tutorial. Greetings, it's Maxo Diddly. Let's get right into how to do it. So, I have got a little setup here. I have a main camera. I have a couple of models and I have a canvas set up. So we have a skybox that's just one image. And we're going to be rotating the camera. So firstly, right click in your assets folder, go to create and then go to C sharp script. Call it something like camera control. Once you've made the script, open it up. We're going to remove our start function and we're going to have a few global variables. So we're going to do serialized field transform target and a float for distance from target and we'll set the default value to be 10. We're going to have a sensitivity, we'll have a yaw and a pitch. So what do all these actually do? So the target is a reference to the target object that the camera is supposed to orbit around. And the distance from the target is how far we want the distance to be between the camera and the target. And the sensitivity is a multiplier for mouse and touch input to affect how fast the camera rotates. I strongly recommend you experiment to find a value that you like. And the yaw is rotation around the y-axis or the vertical axis. And the pitch is rotation around the x-axis or the horizontal axis. These are industry standard names. And if you're curious where they come from, these terms have been used to describe those types of rotations well before game development was a thing. So I'm not going to go into that in this tutorial. The next thing we need to do is we need to make our update function. So we're going to do three lines of code in our update function. We're going to do um, a function call and we're going to be calling a function called handle input. We're then going to do quaternion your rotation equals quaternion dot euler pitch your and zero. And then we're going to do rotate camera your rotation. So you're going to be like, but Max, these functions don't exist. And that's correct. We're going to be making them in a moment. This function will handle input and this function here will actually do the rotation of the camera. But you might be thinking, but Max, what does this quaternion line actually do? Well, basically, it creates a rotation based on the Euler angles we've modified through user input. Quaternions are a way to represent rotation in 3D space that avoids grimball lock and is more efficient for calculations and interpolations. So let's go into final handle input function. So firstly, we're going to be making a function called handle input. So we do public void handle input and inside we're going to do vector2 input delta equals vector2.0. So this is going to be tracking the change in position of our mouse or finger. But by default, there is no change before we actually do the check. So we're going to set it to vector2.0, which is a fancy way of doing new vector2.0.0. Then we're going to get the input from the user. So I'm going to be covering touchscreen input and mouse input. And so what we can do is we can do if input.touchCount is greater than zero. So this means there's at least been one touch on your touchscreen. And then we're going to do touch touch equals input.getTouch0. So we're going to get the first touch that's detected in this frame. And then we're going to do input delta equals touch dot delta position. Delta position is used to get the change in position of the touch point between the current frame and the last frame. And then this value is assigned to our input delta variable. And when we can do else if input dot get mouse button zero, which is checking for left click. And then we can do input delta equals new vector two input dot get axis mouse x and input dot get axis mouse y. And this line gets the mouse's movement along the x and y axis and stores these values in the input delta variable. These movements are detected from one frame to the next, very similar to how our touch delta position works. After that, we're going to do your plus equals input delta dot x times sensitivity times time dot delta time. And then we could do pitch minus equals input delta dot y times sensitivity times time dot delta time. So this your line updates for your value, which represents rotating by turning left or right. And input delta dot x gives the horizontal movement, which is then multiplied by a sensitivity factor to scale the input's effect. So as to how much we're going to move the camera by. And then we do time dot delta time 
to make this frame rate independent. And we're going to do the exact same thing, but for the pitch. So we use the input.delta.y because obviously we're going to be doing looking up or down or y value rotation. And you might be thinking, but Max, what does the plus equals and minus equals mean? Well, basically this will impact whether or not you want an inverted camera movement. I'm going to be sticking with plus equals for the x rotation and I'll be doing minus equals for the y rotation, but you can change this if you like. Lastly, we're going to quickly make a function called rotate camera and we're going to pass in a quaternion and we can do vector three position offset equals rotation times new vector three zero zero and then negative distance from target and then we can do transform.position equals target.position plus position offset and then we can do transform.rotation equals rotation which is referencing our quaternion here. So this line here. This line calculates the position of the camera relative to the target. The multiplication here rotates this offset vector by the camera's current rotation, ensuring the camera stays the correct distance away, but rotates around the target. And then we're going to set the position of our camera to be our target position plus our position offset. So putting our camera the right distance away from our target. And then we're going to set the rotation of the camera to be this new rotation we have calculated. And that's it for all the code because we've already called our functions here. So let's save our work and go into Unity. Go to your main camera and drag and drop the camera control script onto it. Modify your distance from target to be what you want. And then for the targets, drag and drop whatever you want the camera to rotate around. So I'll drag and drop a Charizard to rotate around. Then we're going to save our work and then we're going to click the play button. As you can see, I'm pulling the mouse down and we're rotating around the Charizard. I'm going to drag it horizontally. I'm going to do like a diagonal now. And as you can see, it's all working. Now there is one thing we're going to try. I'm going to go into the code and I'm going to do a minus equals for the yaw. Just to show how this changes the code. So now our rotation on the x-axis is inverted depending on how we drag the mouse. But anyway, thanks for watching this tutorial. Be sure to leave a like and a comment if you enjoyed. And subscribe for more tutorials. Thanks for watching.